All right, people, here we go. The first fight of the B Class PS4 tournament between Mansika Jigolo versus Citric Citrus. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. All right, we're getting right into the fight, man. And look at this it's Cub Swanson versus Hennen Barao. And let's see, Mansika, I believe, is, yeah, Hennen Barao. And Citric Citrus is Cub Swanson. I wonder if Citric, I'm going to call him Citrus. I wonder if Citrus is going to utilize that cartwheel kick. Maybe he's going to be sneaky with it. Nice little head movement by Citrix. Citrus, Citrix, Citrus. Say that 20 times, man. I love that name. And it's nice that we're seeing the first sighting of a Cub Swanson and a Hennen Burrell. And Mensika has some tight boxing. He's just staying tight. Establishing the... Nice! Nice little <laughs> sidestepping by Citrus. <laughs> he just makes me want to have a sunny delight. But he's still backpedaling. But that's okay, man. That's okay. He needs to you. There you go. I was gonna say he needs to utilize some of Cubs' kicks, man. But Mansika, he's just <laughs> doing his thing, not overcommitting on anything, you know. Oh, nice little switch kick to the body, and that takes the wind out of your sails. You guys know that. For all you guys that train in real life. Let's see here. This is even. Citrus has the slight stamina advantage. He's just got to keep things tight. But Mansika is not really giving him too much to uh, to offer here. Very nice little technical battle for the first round. <laughs> this is good to see, man. It's good to see. You're not gonna see. Ro I, w I was. I'm hoping for some Rock'em Sock'em robots in the first round, but um, this is nice to see. A technical battle. A nice, those switch kicks add up. And Citrus is throwing a little more volume now. He senses that Mensika's stamina is going down and he wants to capitalize, he wants to hurt him. Nobody's been rocked yet, nice. Oh, he sidestepped to the wrong way. That's why, man, you gotta be careful when you're sidestepping. When you're circling like that. And Mensika stealing the round here. Look at this. I love it. Oh, I love his patience. Oh, and he's <laughs> reaching for chicken legs. We're having KFC tonight, people. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. He went for that chicken leg. And both of them are kind of unloading the wad. Man, sick of stamina, I'm kind of worried about. If I'm in Citrus's corner, I would just be a little patient, man. Let Mansika blow the wad and take him out later on. Oh, no. Oh, oh my gosh. That's the thing. <laughs> you can't be throwing wild, crazy kicks in the last 10 seconds. A lot of people do that. I used to do that, but just... Unless you're really losing the fight, don't go for anything crazy in the last 10 seconds because that's what's going to happen. And that was clearly Mensika's round. However, Citrus was doing great for the first, what, three minutes? So here we go. His Citrus's eggs are scrambled. Oh, that would have been a crazy finish right there. He's backpedaling. It looks like he, he wants to shoot, but he's got to be careful. Now that he's been rocked multiple times, you can't get in there, but he's getting in there anyway. Oh! What a turn of events! And he does not want to pounce. Burrell's good off of his back. But Swanson's underrated on the mat, man. I would have gone for that takedown. Testing. I would have tried to test Mensika's ground game. But this is good for Citrus. He got confident. Got some confidence brewing. But he can't be overconfident. Ooh. It's hook mania. But Mansika's stamina is low, man. He's really going for it. Don't be careful. Don't circle the wrong way. 
Nice. And those punches are so annoying, man. When people just come with those rapid fire punches like that, it's hard to get away. Oh, Citrus. Look at the finish. Wow. This is Citrus's round, man. What a great battle. This is amazing to see both of these guys. Who's going to get off to the early lead and win this first fight? And it seems like Mansika is throwing that game plan out the window. <laughs> he's not being as technical and he's going for those hooks, man. I would get back to that technicality that he was working that first round. It was great. Oh, boy. Seems like right now, this is Citrus's fight to win. If he could just not get hit by any of those crazy bombs there you go oh he's hurt again oh down he goes and it's over citrus with the w <laughs> oh man what a great little comeback Awesome, awesome fight. That He just showed like a heart of a champion right there. Great job by Citric Citrus. And let's see if Mansika can try to regroup here. Oh, well, we have a Forrest Griffin sighting. <laughs> you got to give respect, man, to Mansika for picking Forrest Griffin. I love Forrest Griffin, man. In this game, he's good. And Ma Jimmy Manoa. I don't know what Jimmy Manoa's rating is but I believe he's probably a B plus I know Forrest Griffin's a B maybe even a B minus <laughs> but let's see if Mansika could avoid the power in Manoa Manoa he is like a bigger version of Woodley as far as the stand-up games concerned this guy has some crazy power man good boxing but Griffin's got heart. <laughs> the worst Forrest Griffin memory is when he got pieced up by Anderson Silva. <laughs> Ricky, seriously, I just kind of gave him a paw to the face and he shut off like he was doing snow angels in the octagon. <laughs> but Griffin was a beast on the Ultimate Fighter 1. People forget he won the Ultimate Fighter. His best fight, though, was when he beat Shogun, when Shogun came to the UFC for the first time from Pride. But Shogun was getting married later on in that year, so he wasn't he didn't really he wasn't really optimal as far as performance. He wasn't the top Shogun and Griffin choked him out in the um, dying seconds of the fight. But then they had a rematch and Shogun just dismantled Griffin. But right here we see no, <laughs> Mansika was kind of just punching the air right there, he was punching the cage. But Mansika's winning this round. He just he can't get hit with anything crazy here. He's looking to tie up this series, man. And both of these guys want to go deep into this tournament. Nice. I like how he switched up with that knee to the body. But the one thing Citrus has is that power in his back pocket. And you could sit back. You know, when you're using guys like McGregor, Jimmy Manoa, guys with big power, you could sit back and then just go for that one big shot. Stun your opponent, go for the finish. But it seems like Mansika's throwing a lot of looping hooks that may be his downfall. You see that? Hook, hook, hook. He's got to mix it up, man. Maybe go to the body. There you go. It's like you could hear me through my headset. Oh, nice. It looks like he slipped them there, Citrus did. These guys are even, man. I don't know. This is a great first fight. Nice takedown. Let's see what Mensika can do here. And this is something that... Oh, if he denied that, he would have had some time to work. But this is something that Mensika's got to do. Oh! Nice. Nice. That's a pure GSP move. Like when GSP fought John Fitch, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen that, it was the ultimate beatdown. But the one thing I didn't agree with is GSP had Fitch down and out. 
and he still went for that takedown. He rocked him on the feet. He hit him with a brutal kick to the head, and then he decided to go for a takedown. I still think GSP would have finished him. But it's good that um, Mansika did that to avoid damage. Let me know if you agree with that. But this is uh, panning out just like this that first fight we saw where Mansika did well and then he looked at the game plan. He said, I'm going to make a paper airplane out of it and throw it, <laughs> throw it into the stands. He's got to stick to that game plan. And I like that double leg. I don't know Citrus. I don't know if Citrus can stop it. He hasn't shown that he could stop it. Oh, no. But you don't want to trade against the Manawa character. And look at that head health. And Menzika was on roller skates there. Do you see that? Even go for a 1-2 shoot. Nice. So he's dropped them. And these guys, man. What an even fight. Oh. Lazy kick to the body. And it was a crazy uppercut by Citrus. Citric Citrus. Oh. Wow. But he went shooting out of left field right there. Got to set that up. Or if once Citrus misses with a crazy punch or kick, go for that takedown. You know what I mean? I would bait him right here into kicking. So hang back. Oh, nice. Got to give it up for Mansika for switching up his game plan. Look at this. He's got the plum. Oh, and he's hurt. Wow, good catch right there. And in my opinion, Mansika has got to do that. Clinch, clinch. Can't keep it like this. Oh, but he's doing well. Oh, and he's down. Is it over? Not over. Citrus hanging on a thread. Oh, he spins him around. He doesn't want anything to do with the grappling game, but Citrus, his stamina is low. Oh, he's rocked again. This looks like it's going to get be tied up, man. Oh, no. <laughs> but Citrus battled. Oh, he got kicked to the face. That's legal. That's legal, people. That is legal. Oh. Wow. No way. Citrus battles back twice and wins. Oh, my gosh. You know, Mansika just whipped his controller against the wall. Oh, he had it. He had it, but you got to give it up for Citrus for battling. Wow, he was getting outworked there in that second fight, but he managed to stick with it and get the victory, and we're off to a great thundering start in this tournament. Let me know your thoughts on these two fighters. Great job to the both of you, and congratulations to Citrix Citrus, who's moving on to the second round. Anyhow, people, this is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. Have an awesome day, man, and don't forget, you are awesome.